you ready? Are you ready? Oh, are you ready to go? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to go? Hello, it's Mr. T with another math tutorial. Today we're following up on our tutorial of taking derivatives of exponential functions and log functions. On the first go around of these derivatives, we only worked with the base of e. So our power functions had e to the u, and our log functions were all natural logs. Okay, we may run into problems where we have other bases, and so today we extend our rules to include uh, derivatives of functions with bases other than e. And we could derive these formulas by using the change of base formula. Remember we reviewed in an earlier lesson that the log base b of some expression is the lin of u over the lin of b. And by applying this rule to our other derivatives, we could derive these formulas. I'm not going to go through that detail for you. So when we take the derivative of a power function without, where this is not an e, we use the same rule. So we keep the power term with the exponent, and then we use the chain rule to take the derivative of the exponent. But we then have to multiply that entire expression by the natural log of this base. Similar when this was lin of u, we had 1 over u times u prime, or the derivative of the uh, expression in the log. And now we have to multiply this by 1 over the lin of whatever our base is. So let's look at a couple problems applying these rules. So the first problem will apply the exponential rule or the uh, exponent, exponential function rule and then we'll apply this log rule and then we'll work one application problem. So here 1 half is my base, that's my a. And here we have, now remember uh, when we go to take the derivative of our exponent, x over that number is the same thing as that fraction times x. So remember, we don't have to use product, a quotient rule or anything to take the derivative of our exponent. So if we apply our rule, we have the len of our base times essentially the original function and then times using the chain rule the derivative of our exponent. Now this is a constant times x so we just have our constant and I'm just going to do a little simplification here uh, we using some uh, logarithm properties, 1 half is the same thing as 2 to the negative first power. And then we have all this stuff here again. I just didn't want to rewrite it. And len of 1 half is going to be negative. Remember, we can bring the exponents down using our logarithm properties times all that stuff. So now if we combine, we can combine. This is a constant. And this is a constant, so we end up with negative lin of 2 over 5, 7, 1, 5. And then times our exponential function here. And this is our first derivative. So we end up with this constant. And again, we had to take the natural log of the base. All right, let's try a log function. So we have a base 10 here. So remember, our rule is 1 over the len of our base, which would be len of 10. Now we have 1 over u, so 1 over x squared plus 6x, and then times our derivative of our expression, which is going to be 2x plus 6. Now we could just kind of arrange our terms to put it in order. Uh, we could factor out on the numerator, we could factor out a 2. 
and then I'm just going to put this expression in the front. I'm going to put that in parentheses. And then that's times here the lin of 10. Uh, there was nothing we could cancel out. Because um, if we factor, we could factor an x out here on the bottom. But we would have then x plus 6. So we're not going to be able to cancel anything here. So we'll just leave it like this. All right, our last example here is to apply derivatives to find the equation of a tangent line. And remember, we need to find three things. We have to find x sub 1, which in this case we're given. We need to find y sub 1, and we'll do that by plugging in 2 thirds into our y function here. And then we need to find the slope, which will be the derivative of y evaluated at x sub 1, which would be 2 thirds. So if we find our y sub 1, we're going to be calculating log base 3 of 3 times 2 thirds, which was our x sub 1 plus 7. This is 9, so we get the log base 3 of 9. And remember, logarithms are asking us what power would we raise 3 2 in order to be 9, and that would be 2. So y sub 1 is a 2. Now let's go about finding our slope. So we need to find y prime. So we use our uh, rule. So we have 1 over lin of 3 times 1 over our u times our derivative of the expression here, which would be 3. Now if we plug in uh, 2 thirds for x, we've got 1 over lin of 3. Now a minute ago we plugged in 2 thirds into this x up here, right here, and we got 9. So this is 1 over 9 times 3. This makes 1 third. So if we simplify that, we get 1 over 3 natural log of 3. Now that is our exact value. If we put that into a calculator, we get approximately 0 0.30 if we round it to two decimal places. So now let's write our uh, equation of our tangent line using the point slope formula. So we have y minus 2 equals our slope, which is 1 over 3 lin of 3, if we write it in exact form, times x minus x sub 1, which was 2 thirds. And we could leave it like that, or we could uh, here distribute and combine like terms. I think it will not do that. We'll just leave it like this. Or we could have used our approximate value So again, today's lesson was on taking derivatives of power functions, exponential functions, and log functions with bases other than e. And the key rules are here. So we're going to be multiplying on the exponential functions. We'll be multiplying by the lin of the base. And in log functions, we'll be dividing by the lin of the base. The rest of the rules are the same as we had earlier. So have a great day. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, oh.